Canelo said he wants to not just go to the body with the left hook, which he hasn't had a chance yet to do, but also the straight right to the body. Right now, for the moment at least, Trout is controlling the real estate in this fight, again as he did against Cotto. Under 30 seconds left in the first round. Canelo coming off a fifth round TKO win against Jose Cito Lopez last September, showcasing a versatile attack using a light lead right uppercut to set up a liver liquefying left hook. And there's a lead left hook as he swarms Trout along the ropes. Cole Cotto. There is a bigger difference in experience than some might think between these two combatants. Canelo has faced five former current world champions. Trout has faced just one, that being Cotto. In the first round, Canelo got to Trout at about this distance. He felt, felt like he was almost there, and then he just couldn't land. Touched him on the chest there, but this is the distance Canelo needs to start landing. And there There's a right hand that connects for Canelo. Flashes the jab, doubles up the jab, follows up with a right hand. Starting to see Canelo, Trout co consistently slip the jab to his own left. So he met, kind of met him with that uppercut there. And earlier. Canelo loads up with two, make it three right hands. That third one connects on the tempo. Trout backing up moment. He's, he's starting to pull the trigger a little closer, and it's making a difference. Thirty seconds remaining in the second stanza. Lead right hook by Trout. There's a nice one-two that catches Canelo. Canelo lunging in, swarming Trout, and Trout able to circle away from the ropes. Canelo now back in stalk, stalking position. There's a one-two combination from Canelo. He was the one that was most yes. in doubt. It's definitely a tough round to score. And Canelo lunging forward, not gauging the distance. And Trout tagging him. Canelo lands the jab. Trout goes to the fight a draw. Both Paulie and I uh, have a slight edge for Canelo. And these rounds are very, very close. And we should point out that they will be telling because of the WBC regulations of movement. Bobbing and weaving, trying to avoid Trout's jab, and comes back with a right to the body. Troll for the most part the whole rest of the round. Canelo done with the showboating for a moment again. With the high guard, has his hands up and then comes back, has Trout on the ropes momentarily. Ten seconds left in the tenth. Nice straight left. Five and zero oh for Canelo Alvarez. It's a nice one-two combo from five and zero oh for Canelo. Trout. Six and zero oh for Alvarez. Alvarez. I guess Bunsey might be able to talk about in the studio once the fight's over. What sort of impact the professionals have? He was just caught off balance there, doesn't really score as a big punch. He got the reaction of the crowd. But I wonder what sort of impact it has back home in Cuba for these lads who do turn for Alvarez. Nice southpaw lead. And Robert Bird on the case of the Mexican, who's getting just a little bit frustrated here in the third because he's punching thin air. Yeah. And Lara getting booed by the crowd, but it's Lara's fight, isn't it, at the moment, this is what he wants. A little dance around. Pretty good. Yeah, she was. Again, a nice little sort of left hand there from, from Lara. Canelo throwing a wide right hook. He's getting frustrated, Alvarez. Oh, beautiful, lovely shot from... Listen to work on it. And he'll surely get, he'll surely find the target oh, at some stage. He's already starting to cut the ring off now, you can see. He's just got to be more committed like he is now in this round, and we, we were saying that with the, in the preview. Series. That's a good shot, the left hook. He's going to be more offensively minded than ever before, make, take more risks than he has before. And that's good, that's better for him. Start again. I suspect that the foot wound up on top of Lara once more there. <laughs> yeah. But it was good for Alvarez, Alvarez can throw a jab to the hit and put and let his punches go, it's tremendous. I was going to say, talk about Hernandez, talk about Rigondo, and talk about Bob Santos, the man who's doing the cuts in that corner. Now, whether it was a punch or a clash of heads, perhaps a slow motion replay will tell us. My impression was that it was heads. Alvarez is hitting a little bit too long, and then his punch is off, and then have to take two shots off. Together. He knows he's still, he's still, he's still down and done. And I think he knows that he's hurting him with shots like that. They'll add a last round 
corner to. And these body shots are high, aren't they? Really heavy shots. It's become a little bit of a machine gun against the pea shooter in there. The power shots are all coming from Alvarez. So with you. Having a decent round so far, the Lara. It's not even halfway through though, and Alvarez looking still looking so hot. Oh, fabulous, the beautiful Trump. skills from Lara, and again. The Trump by the work of Lara, one of the much better work than from Lara though. And look at this. In the space of about 30 seconds there, it has just encapsulated why this has been a really good fight to watch. Lovely contrast in style, and both men having their moments of success. Is it the movement and the accuracy of Lara, or is it the more attritional body attacks of Alvarez? Oh, that's the one through there for Lara again. Oh, look at this though for Alvarez. The body touch on Alvarez tonight has been tremendous, and you've got to give Lara his credit for standing up to some of the shots he's taken to the ribs. Well, he said it the way, didn't he? Well, he looked in fantastic shape, and he's needed to be. He really has, yeah. Is there going to be something telling? And there's going to be a last flurry.